First tonight, a neighborhood crime alert in Huntington. This is where thieves are targeting stores for power tools. At least two stores have been hit this week. This morning, AutoZone on Hal Greer Boulevard was the latest. In these cases, the thieves have gotten away with some fairly expensive tools, too. News Channel 3's Dan Griffin spoke with store workers about the increased crime and has surveillance video you have to see. Uh, we hope that they can apprehend them. Managers at State Electric Supply Company keep replaying this surveillance video from Thursday. Some of our guys saw him looking kind of suspicious and we're, really were surveilling him as he was here. They're trying to figure out who this guy is. You can see him walking back and forth near a display of power tools. Then he looks as if he's planning an escape. Moments later, he grabs the tools and runs. One of the clerks isn't far behind, chasing him out the front door to a black early 2000 Chevy Cavalier. The passenger door appears to be opened by his partner in crime before they hit the gas and go. That's become a problem when we have people walking in from the outside who have no intention of purchasing at State Electric. They just want to steal our product and take it out to make a profit. Manager Mark Hanna says the drills cost about $600 a piece. He believes the thefts are for a quick buck for drugs. Well, it's most painful to me that he will probably take this down the street and sell it at a pawn shop for $50. Friday, AutoZone on Hal Greer was also hit. Workers say the man got away with two power tools costing anywhere from $60 to $100 a piece. They say the thief sped off in a black Chevy Cavalier and he was in his 20s. For Hannah, this trend is unsettling. He says they're already making changes to stop it from happening again. And we'd like to have our tools back and we'd like to eliminate this from happening in the future. Now in Barbersville, police have been working their own investigation after a man stole a drill set at a Lowe's there. They estimate it was worth roughly $600. Tim, police are investigating whether the two Huntington store cases are connected, but from talking with workers at AutoZone and State Electric Supply Company, this guy sounds like he may be the same one. And that's some very good video. That surveillance video was uh, not quite like we used to see with the, the black and white images that were very shaky. Very good video. So somebody out there might have seen this guy. Well, hopefully. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Dan. Managers at State Electric say, that they have found other stolen items at pawn shops in the past. If you recognize the man in that surveillance, give police a call.